Welcome back to Santosh Kiri Chemistry Tutorials. In this video, we discuss about the story of organic chemistry. So this is my first video of YouTube channel. My YouTube channel Santosh Kiri Chemistry Tutorials. History of organic chemistry. Discuss. So guys, in this video, we we'll discuss about history of organic chemistry. So, <coughs> early chemists thought that sub general substance is divided into two categories. Earliest chemistry, chemists divide substance into two categories. First one is inorganic substance. And next one is organic substance. So guys, now talk about inorganic substance. What is called organic inorganic substance, and which substance is called organic substance? So, <coughs> composed of minerals like rocks and non-living. Okay. Um, inorganic substance kise bolte hai? The substance composed of mineral like rocks and non-living things. And next one is organic. Organic. Organic means organisms. <coughs> the substance obtained from organisms, living organisms. So, organic substance, the substance which is obtained from living organisms like plants and animals. So, this is the story of organic chemistry and now we take out, talk about vital force theory. What is called, what is the limitation of, what is the main point of vital force theory and limitation of vital force theory and why vital force theory kicked out. This is vital force theory, why did this come out? Now we accept this, we will talk about it. So, vital force theory. Vital force theory. This theory was given by Berzelius in 1815. So, vital force theory. This is very important for examination view. Long, long question. Vital force theory. This theory was given by Berzelius chemist. Chemist Berzelius in 1815. According to According to this theory, our historical our main point the first time, first point is all organic compounds isolated from living organisms. Okay. And next one is organic compounds cannot can't be synthesized in lab. So guys, this is the main point or main view of vital force theory, which was which is which was given by Berzelius in 1850. According to this theory, all organic compounds, all organic compounds are isolated from living organisms, not non-living. Okay, non-living, not non-living. 
and next one is organic compounds cannot be synthesized in lab at that time scientists believe that organic compound cannot be synthesized in lab and organisms organism have a force this is called vital force or this is a mysterious force present in organism due to which organic compounds are only isolated from living organism like plants and animals <coughs> so um, now we take, talk about limitation of vital force theory limitation of vital force theory next limitation of vital force theory this is also important what is the limitation or drawbacks of vital force theory our next scientist friedrich friedrich in 1828 synthesized accidentally urea by eating ammonium cyanide NH4 CNO okay guys now we'll talk about limitation of vital force theory uh, next scientist Friedrich Huller in 1828 synthesized accidentally in lab not this is this is accidentally and accidentally urea by heating ammonium cyanide when he heated ammonium cyanide then it forms reagents this compound reagents and forms urea see this is urea and the urea we know urea is organic compounds urea is organic compounds but that time sign uh, another people does not be believe friedrich oller because people say friedrich oller's against the god so this is not properly described reader and next scientist name who prepared acetic acid acetic acid in lab was name was kolbe who prepared acetic acid in lab by using carbon hydrogen and oxygen as constituent constituent elements now another scientist who support friedrich oller who prepared name as kolbe kolbe scientist chemist he was a chemist kolbe who prepared acetic acid acetic acid this is also important in entrance examination like mbbs and engineering examination which compound first synthesized option and given option and answer is acetic acid and if asked accidentally then of and then answer is urea nh2co nh2 <coughs> the ipc name of urea is 1 amino methanamide amide one amino methanamide so this is very important for interesting the examination also and next scientist who support friedrich oller is kolbe who synthesized acetic acid in laboratory by using carbon hydrogen and oxygen as constituent element and next one last scientist who supported friedrich and kolbe was bert heller
बेट हेलो केमिस्ट हू प्रिपेयर्ड मिथेन गैस इन लैबोरेटरी एंड ऑल्सो इट इज दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो आज इन एग्जामिनेशन ऑब्जेक्ट एग्जामिनेशन हू प्रिपेयर्ड मिथेन गैस इन लैबोरेटरी एंड एंसर इज बैट होल्ड केमिस्ट यू आज केमिस्ट बेट होल्ड प्रिपेयर मिथेन गैस इन लैबोरेटरी बाई यूजिंग कार्बन एंड हाइड्रोजन इन दिस वे भाइटल फोर्स थे रिवाज किक डॉट नाउ नाउ डेज मोर दैन टेन मिलियंस अर्गानिक कंपाउंड्स आर नाउन सो थैंक यू फर वाचिंग दिस भिडियो इफ यू रियली लाइक दिस भिडियो प्लिज सब्सक्राइब आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सन्तोष किंग कैमिस्ट्री टॉपिक फोर नेक्स्ट भिडियो थैंक यू फर वाचिंग